Hey, this is Bear Hammer Heed, how to take a stratified sample, which is right there now. So in statistics, to uh, get information, we have to take samples as well, because, reason because to take the whole population, sometimes it's very difficult, other times lack of money, lack of time, so we take samples. And one of the one of the best ways to do sampling is stratified sampling, because it does a mixture of random sampling, and it evenly divides it up. That's stratified sampling. So the advantages are it's fair, it's it has a variety, and it takes some time. Disadvantage is it does take time, but not too much. But overall. The advantages weigh the disadvantages. So, in stratified sampling, well, the problem with random sampling is, let's say I got a school with 300 students, 100 year sevens, 100 year eights, and 100 year nines, and I want to take, and I want to take 10 samples. Right. So I could do a random sampling of. Uh, do the school enjoy homework and in that random sampling all of them could be year sevens and um, the problem with that is because it's not a variety because I would like some year eights and year nine so I have a range of data but in random sampling it's random so it could happen or it couldn't happen with stratified sampling this always happens so stratified sampling works like this I have 300 students 100 in year 100 in year 7, 100 in year 8, and 100 in year 9. Right, okay. Stratify sampling does this. So I want to take 10 overall. I do these three. I do 10 divided by 3, which equals 3.3 recurring. Okay. Because we can't exactly have a third of a person, I'll say we're going to do 12. So we're going to change this to 12. So we can have 12 divided by 3, which equals 4. You guys get that? Yeah. So I take 4 out of this 100 randomly, 4 out of this 100 randomly, and 4 out of this 100 randomly. Now with this, I get overall guess. With this I get overall 4 plus 4 plus 4, 12 samples, like my 12 samples, with equal year 9s, equal year 8s, and equal year 7s. Now the reason why this is good because each person has a better chance, because in random sampling, like I said, they could all be year 7s, so year 8s and 9s have less chance. But in stratified sampling, each year 9, each 100, each of those 100 students had a had a good better chance of being chosen in a random sample also like I said it got a variety it's fairer and if I'm honest it gives you better data so the, now one thing you do now the reason why it's so good is because you split it into different groups and you take four random people by doing this you put all the names in random.org or allocate them in numbers and put all the numbers in random.org get four numbers from random.org remember that random get rid of the h dot org so you go on that let's type it again write it again yep so I use random.org type in the numbers find four of those 100 and get that so that's literally it. Thanks guys for listening. See ya.